Hello everyone, this is going to be the 120 Q&A test. Plaintiff attorney is Ms. MS period Lowry, L-O-W-R-Y. Defense is Mr. Jones, J-O-N-E-S. Again, plaintiff attorney Ms. MS period Lowry, L-O-W-R-Y. And defense is Mr. Jones, J-O-N-E-S. Again, plaintiff is Ms. Lowry, L-O-W-R-Y. Okay. And this is going to start with defense attorney. Ready? Because it never was checked and her blood was never drawn, correct? Correct. With regard to the driver of the motorcycle, the man who passed away in the accident, do you know if any blood was ever drawn to see whether or not he was impaired in any way? No. Did you get close enough to him to be able to observe and to smell, if you will, use your senses, observation to determine he had not been drinking no alcohol I didn't draw that conclusion did you draw any conclusion about the the man who was the downed motorcyclist no as far as alcohol first of all I put that his it's unknown whether or not he was under the influence of anything. When you put the impairment was not known, that's the box you checked, right? Correct. Okay, that's because you never had a chance to talk to him and observe him? Yes. And as you earlier mentioned to me with regard to Ms. Johnson, you didn't really know if she was impaired either, did you? Your Honor misstates his testimony, calls for speculation as well. Overruled, you can go ahead and answer. It's unknown, I'm unaware. Right, at least as of the date that you prepared this report, any impairment that she may have had was unknown to you, correct? Calls for speculation. Overruled, you may answer. I didn't observe any signs of impairment while I was speaking with her. I understand that, but what I'm saying is, because her blood wasn't tested, as we earlier talked about, you didn't really know if she was impaired one way or the other, true? Calls for speculation, Your Honor. Overruled, you may answer. No. Is that true? I don't feel comfortable answering the question the way you're... Let me withdraw it and try it a different way. I want to make sure I'm right. You earlier mentioned you did not know if Ms. Johnson had been taking any medicine. You put she hadn't been, relying on Officer Gilbert, correct? Correct. But you didn't have any personal knowledge, whether or not, she was taking any medications, correct? Correct. And her blood was never tested to see if she was taking any medication, correct? Or for that matter, having drank alcohol, true? You just didn't know? Calls for speculation. Sustained. Rephrase your question, counsel. All I'm trying to say is, point of fact, it would be, with regard to Ms. Johnson, any impairment she had was really not known. Is that accurate? That question is asking for speculation, Your Honor. Go ahead. Any impairment she had was not observed by myself or Officer Gilbert. The box says impairment not known. 
you really didn't know if she was impaired, correct? No, that the impairment not known box is checked for Mr. Davis. For, for Ms. Johnson, the box is checked, had not been drinking. And we based that solely on our observations and our determination. Her statements, my observations of no impairment, Officer Gilbert, his observations of no impairment, because he would have notified me if he observed any signs of impairment. Okay, and we have a small word list. We've got Mr. Davis, capital D-A-V-I-S, Ms. Johnson, M-S period, Johnson, capital J-O-H-N-S-O-N, and Officer Gilbert, capital O on Officer Gilbert, capital G-I-L-B-E-R-T. And that concludes our 120 Q&A test. Good luck.